for you today on the look that I'm wearing right here. It is using the um, Anastasia Amrezy palette. Um, I love this palette and I take no credit for this. I saw a YouTuber, um, her name is Kathleen Lights, I think that's what it is. Anyway, she is gorgeous and I saw a video um, that she did of this look and I just had to recreate it. I was like just so inspired by it. I thought it was so beautiful. So I hope you guys enjoy the tutorial and if you have this palette, I hope you try it out and also check out her channel. I will post it somewhere down below definitely, probably somewhere on the video. Um, but yeah, so check her out and I hope you guys enjoy this. I'll talk to you guys later. We'll start by priming our eyes with two face shadow insurance. And next I'm going to take my Soft Ochre Paint Pot and my e.l.f. Um, concealer brush and I'm just going to apply that all over my lid and all into my crease, everywhere where we're going to apply some eyeshadow. Next I'm going to take the color I Have a Headache from NYX and I'm going to apply that to my entire brow bone. So starting under the arch of my brow and working my way out either direction. I'm also going to apply that um, or apply some and bring it down into my crease so that everything blends out perfectly. Next, taking the Amrezy palette by Anastasia and taking the color Caramel, going to use my MAC 224 brush to apply this and I'm really going to build this color up in my crease. Just going slow and building up as I go along. And if only we could do makeup this fast, right? That would be fantastic. <laughs> so yeah, just building up that color and blending it out as I go along. I really want this to be diffused and blown out, and I really want it to be nice and warm and smoky. Next, we're going to take the color Morocco and um, a MAC 239 brush, and I'm going to apply that all over my lids. And I'm really going to pack that color on and build it up because I want it to be nice and intense. I'm also going to pull that up into my crease slightly and that way it will really fade out into that caramel color. Next I'm going to take a 217 from MAC and I'm going to go back into that caramel color and apply that right in the crease uh, in between those two shades so that everything blends out perfectly. Now going back into Morocco in that 239, apply that back onto the lid to make sure we didn't lose any of that intensity. Now I'm going to take the color Legend and I'm going to apply that to my inner tear duct. You can apply that to your brow bone if you want, but I'm not into that. <laughs> now I'm going to take the color Deep Plum on a brush that's just like the, two, uh, the 217 and just a tiny bit, tiny bit of that, uh, and applying that into the outer corner the outer part of my lid and into my crease and just working slowly with this color so that we don't get any harsh lines or blobby looking things. And just really uh, blending it out as I apply the color so that there are no harsh lines. Now I'm going to take Morocco and just apply that to the lid once more just to make sure everything's seamless. Next I'm going to take my Lord & Berry liner and apply that to my upper and lower water lines. And here's a tip, use the end of a brush and don't pull down on your lower lash line, just kind of press slightly and it will make that water line pop out and you don't have to tug on your eye. Now I'm just going to blend out that eyeliner making sure it's nice and smoky and I'm going to apply, this is Morocco that I'm applying to my entire lower lash line really going in and building it up next I'm taking caramel just to really diffuse that Morocco color 
Now I'm going back in with the Morocco to build it up, and I'm going to take that deep plum color and apply that to the very outer corner. And so there's the eyeshadows all blended out there. Now I'm going to take my Jessie's Girl liquid liner and just do a thin line pressing this right into the lash line. I'm not going to wing it out or anything. And now next I'm going to apply these Ardell lash lights. I love these. They're so pretty. They're not intense or anything. They just really add beautiful length and a little bit of volume to the uh, lashes. I wish my lashes could just naturally look like these. That would be great. <laughs> now I'm just going to apply some mascara to my natural lashes. I'm not putting this on the false lashes, or at least as best I can. I just want to bend, blend my natural lashes in with the false lashes. Now I'm going to apply some mascara to my lower lash line. And that's the eyes done. Now I'm just going in and contouring and doing my, uh, well, I guess I'm not using blush, but contouring and bronzing and, you know, all that good stuff. So this is just a Too Faced Chocolate Soleil bronzer. And oh my god, can we talk about this? This is an Ulta brand bronzer. It is amazing. It's not shimmery, but it has a beautiful sheen. You'll see in just a second here. And it just gives you the warmest, most beautiful glow. I love that stuff. So that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed this look. I love this. I'm going to wear this all the time. So I hope you guys try it out. And again, go check out... Um, Oh my god, I'm forgetting her name, but go check out her, her video. I'll post it down below. You guys have a great day. Bye.